break the right hand side of the tractor and you could veer to the right and cause an accident. Good afternoon guys, right I'm here at Russell's again, uh, our local New Holland dealer and I'm currently sat in T6145. It's a semi power shift machine, uh, it's got mechanical hydraulics and uh, I thought I'd just go over quickly some of the basic controls for you guys to have a look. All right. The standard forward reverse shuttle, um, I mean I'll put my foot in the clutch so we won't go anywhere but you just engage it and then if you want to knock it into neutral you can just knock it to neutral and pull it back into reverse. When you're in the field, you don't have to put your foot in the clutch. Just be wary that if you're, you know, if you've got the revs up and you're in a, a higher gear, it might be quite jerky. You can do it without the clutch, but as you move forward in reverse, say you're ploughing or drilling, you know there will be a bit of a bit of jumping. You know the tractor might want to leap forwards, but just be careful of that. Instead, you can use a clutch, uh, which is all well and good. It's also got a uh, we're in neutral now. It's got a exhaust brake down here, which is very handy. Um, if you're if you've got trailers on or whatever, it actually saves the wear of your brakes, you know. And it's if you're just wanting to slow down a little bit, because you can see you've got some traffic lights, or you know for whatever reason, just pressing the exhaust brake and it actually does the tractor some good and stops you wearing out your brakes. Down here we have a uh, your brake pedals, which can be uh, disengaged. So currently they are you know together. So we've got a left hand and right hand side of the brakes. That's how tractors work. You can disengage this. So now when you press the right hand side, only the right hand brakes work on the tractor. That's very, very handy for when you're turning, uh, like ploughing or, you know, using drills or anything in the field. So it makes it much easier turning on a headland. Uh, on the right hand side, obviously, you have the accelerator. So A, B, C, as you do in cars. Acceleration, brakes, and then clutch. When you're on the road, I must point out that please keep these engaged, you know, because it's very, very dangerous if you just press one side and you're going down the road. Obviously, it will break the right-hand side of the tractor and you could veer to the right and cause an accident. T6145, obviously, we have a high and low box here. So when you put your foot in the clutch, obviously, we're in low at the moment. You can push it up into high and the box will already pre-select the gears for the high range in this tractor. And then to move up and down the range, you have the hair and tortoise. So hair is for up, you can see it there going up, and tortoise for down. This is a good controller. On the right hand side here, you have the part of the headland management system. Um, so when you get to the headland, you can press this. After presetting the headland controls, you can disengage your, your diff lock, your uh, PTO as well, and also uh, four wheel drive so for when you get to the headland to make it easier to turn. You can press a button here and it'll pre-engage all of those settings that you uh, record and then you know, it, it saves, it's the ease of use for the driver. On the left here we have the hydraulics, uh, hydraulic rear linkage up and down uh, just again for ease of use which is, which is fantastic. Uh, the revs, you have a, a, a rev selector here which is good. Uh, the here is obviously your well rear three-point linkage uh, draft control, um, which you can preset the height of your or linkage on the headland. Again, here this is a automatic up and down for the rear three three-point linkage. Fantastic! In here you have more draft controls. Uh, that's that's another video we'll uh, we'll do another time. We can get quite into depth about the those and uh, when the right time is to select the uh, the draft control. Here we have a uh, PTO, this is obviously the PTO on and off, you pull up to, uh, you pull the bottom up and push down, it's sort of one of those pull and push buttons or selectors and it engages the PTO. This light will illuminate when the PTO is on. Here there's a PTO brake, uh, that one is for the PTO uh, brake as well. This one is to select, as you can see there, there's a thousand, this tractor comes with a thousand PTO, 540 Eco and 540. So to change the PTO speed, you pull up there, press the button, and then you pull down. It's often a little bit hard, but you can do it, and then just make sure it's in, and you're all well and good. 
Here we have the, of course, the mechanical rear remote levers. This is four rear remotes, which is pretty standard in the UK, if I'm honest, at the moment. Up here, we, you can't see it too well, but we have the heating controls. So this has got air conditioning. We have some rear lights here, or some working lights, actually. And then the radio. The other, obviously, of course, the indicators here are by the shuttle. And then we have the windscreen controls on the right-hand side.